Hello everybody and welcome back to Tree Machine. So, after the last episode I tried a little bit to talk with everybody else again. And I figured out that you can put some stuff in your bowl and talk with the kitchen to heat something up. So, I first talked with the kitchen. Like, because we had, I, I remember that we have other things to to uh, complain about with the restaurant so I tried like everything so the, the spicy it's it doesn't doesn't happen something if you tell that but if you say something is too cold um, they're talking about to heat it up so is there something you can t do about that so sure that's easy just send the dish down and I'll put it in the blast furnace. That'll make anything smoking hot in mere seconds. Thanks. So, and I think we have to scare him a little bit. And so maybe we can put in our bowl some gasoline to heat it up. That will is going to scare him, so... I don't know if he smells it, but... Um... Maybe we can can put some some more Chester to <laughs> to make it more more likely like a real soup. So here we are, and we are sending it to the kitchen. So and now let's have a look. Talk with the kitchen again. What happened? Okay. Attention, security personnel, fire emergency detected in the brief kitchen. I repeat, fire emergency detected in the brief kitchen. Okay, so that could burn us all, but now they know that we don't messing up with Victor uh, 6. So, hello head servant, I did a good job. I heard the alarm. Was that you? Maybe. Holy shit! I thought you'd go down and slap him around, not set fire in the entire kitchen. <laughs> I never said it was me, I didn't think it would be that bad. You should have been more specific. <laughs> That's good, I got the job done, didn't I? So you serve some right. You should be more specific. You scare me, man. If I'd known what you do, I would have just given you the key up front. You could have killed somebody. So you remember where you put the key then? Yeah, here, take it. So thanks for the key. And now we can open cabin two. So let's have a look, maybe there is something like tomato juice in it. There's but one key to my heart and I've given it to Alicia. To Door is locked. Yeah, but I want to open it. Ah, okay, I used it with myself, so it didn't work. I, I know right now. Okay. So this is where Victor 11 lived. It looks like a mirror image of Cabin 1. But I can't snake the feeling that something is different. If we don't have a radio, we have a book. Judging by the book blade, oh, this book belongs to the missing crew member. Might be important. So I'll look at it later. First have a look all around here, like... We can... Look at the bed. It's a bottom bunk. One of these belongs to the missing crew member. Top bunk looks well made. There's nothing out of the ordinary about it. So there's nothing in the bunk, so... And the locker maybe? It contains an assortment of clothes and personal things. Nothing seems very interesting. What about the chair? It's a wooden desk chair. And the lamp. The lamp is screwed to the desktop. I guess it comes in handy during the hour, okay. It's a power outlet, there's nothing special about it. So there's nothing different, I guess. Like... 
if water as well. So, but we have to look at the book. The Pleasure Cruise Manual Safety and Service on Board from the Library of Victor 11. Whoa, okay, MF Cruise Line 30 Flex Additional Measures Required and Resolved. Okay, new ships, existing ships. Whoa, what do we have here? Skalpel. So why do he need that? And what do we need it for? Should we kill somebody with it? It looks really sharp. I have to be careful so I don't cut myself. So what, what can we do with it? Destroy some life, life tapers? No. Let's talk to the other guys. Maybe somebody knows something about that. Do you mind if I ask you some more questions? Not all, killer. So... Uh, maybe his, like, his com companion here knows something. Questions. Okay. Tell me about Victor 11. No. You can't talk with him about the... Uh, Let's have a look what, if there's any other, uh, any other difference between Kevin 1 and Kevin 2. So, like we have this cabin mirrors Kevin 2 perfectly, but I still feel something is different about them. So we have two beds, like here, these, these, lamp, seat, they're at all. I don't know, I don't get it. What is different? Maybe something on the floor. Or maybe you can use it to, to cut something off with the bank. No? <laughs> I don't need to destroy it, okay. What about the locker? Uh, not the locker, I mean the power outlet. Door. Earth hole. Nothing important. So there's nothing, nothing different, I guess. I don't know. So we have light on. <laughs> With the lamp. What happened if we, if we... Switch on the light on our cabin? Is there maybe something? Yeah, perfectly. Lamp is screwed to the desktop, yeah. I can't, can't turn it on. Huh. I need to destroy it. What about the radio? That's it. The radio was missing in cabin too. Yeah, I know, but I wonder if that could be significant. It's standard radio. You probably used for listening to music during the. I wonder why it's missing from cabin too. Maybe it's somewhere else. So. I don't know why here isn't any radio. So, hmm. Again, a little bit difficult. It's 
some. I can maybe, maybe I ask Leaf Cabin. Okay, there's, I guess, a little bug. Okay, so I have to make anyway a cut, little cut here. No, it doesn't work. So, see you in a few seconds. So, I thought maybe we can talk with the head servant about the missing radio. So, do we have here something like that? Why is the radio missing in your cabin? Is it? I hadn't noticed. I'm not much of a music lover. That was more Richter 11 thing. You think he took the radio with him? That's possible. He was pretty precious about it. I saw him wandering around the deck with one. He was waving it around like a doozing wand. Why would he do that? At the time, I just thought he was trying to get better reception on it. Being high up in the air, we don't always get clear signal. Okay, this is interesting. See you later then. So maybe he really, really figured out something. I don't know, we can, or maybe we talk with his friend. Maybe they know that they are in a dream or something like that. So. What is with you, bus boy? Did you do you know anything about a missing radio? What? Who told you about that? Nobody. I just noticed the radio is missing in cabin two. Really, that's very perceptive of you. What do you know about it? I'm sorry, but the last guy involved went missing, so I'm a bit reluctant to confiding in others. Let me guess, you want me to do something for you first? Nothing like that. You don't gain somebody's trust by submitting yourself as their errand boy. Then how? Prove to me that you don't think I'm crazy. Prove to me that there's a conspiracy going on board and I'll cons reconsider trusting you. So, but, but how? How can I prove that? Like, here. So, see you later then. So we're still on the search for tomato juice. Because this maybe will help us to figure something more out. So, maybe we're having a new, new rank right now after doing the report so uh, the radio in Victor Levin's cabin is missing that's odd every cabin should be equipped with a personal radio receiver do you think that has been airing on the case I don't know yet sir keep investigating if you think it's worth it so yeah this we had already and has a meeting with somebody yeah, with who I don't know try to find out I'll try to I've already told the captain about this this is the best lead we have for, so far so report your finding to the captain yeah. but I need tomatoes so what can we do with the scalpel First, ask him about the radio, maybe. So, do you know anything about a missing radio? A radio? What's that go do to do with anything? I don't know yet, but it might be worth investigating. As strange as it might sound, I actually might know something about it. Really? Nothing earth-shattering, mind you. But Victor Eleven left something behind in the bar last night. I didn't think anything of it, but hearing you mention radio it seems too strange to be con coincidental. Until, what did he leave behind? Something that might be related to what you're looking for. You can have it, but first you need to make me that bloody Murray. 
Oh man. I really really love to make you make you bloody merry, but maybe we can now talk with the kitchen again. This isn't the best time to call. So do you have some tomatoes? We're working with limitations, yeah. I need some juice for a drink. Oh. Tomatoes. Same problem. So we don't get any tomatoes of the kitchen, I think. Oh, but what what should we do? Engineering. So like from the from the kitchen. Oh. Yeah. I shorten these a little bit up because we read already the most things. Hmm. Is there anything red that we have already? I don't know. <laughs> and just as it's a parasol here. Yeah. So always has a hole in it. Okay, don't want to look at the book again. Can we open something with it? Or maybe we really need it later. Can we maybe use just water? No. Hmm. Oh, maybe we can use our own blood. Ouch. <gasps> we can make a really bloody Mary. Oh, that's disgusting. But okay, works. Maybe human tomato should shoes, I guess. It's a small bottle of hot sauce. Yeah, okay, okay. So, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but cool idea then, so... Oh, okay. I've poured some more chest sauce into the shaker. Lo and behold, I've created a Bloody Mary. A Bloody Bloody Mary, okay. So, let's give it the Bloody Mary to the bartender. The taste is okay, but it's lack in presentation. You mind if I ask? Yeah, ask anyway. So now... What I, I... I gave you... Okay, maybe we sh can we... We can use a whole umbrella, like it was... Okay, I, I don't say anything. It was, and Actually, it is too big to use it with a drink, but... It's a game, so now we can use it. Hmm. Slightly lacking in texture, but overall I'd say it's a damn good Bloody Mary. I don't know if it's up to the captain's standard, so I guess there's only one way to find it out. Send it up to the bridge and hope for the best. Okay, we are sending it to the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to call it. No, here you are. And operate and... Yeah, operate with it. So, send to the bridge. Have you sent a drink to the bridge yet? Yeah, I just did that. Great, now all we have to do is wait and see the approves. Here's your reward. So, where's a napkin? What about the radio? So, yeah, we had that already. So... Uh, you tell me I gave the napkin to you. Okay, ah, okay. 
What do you make of this napkin? I have no idea. But they don't look like meaningless doodles to me. I think there's some kind of purpose to it all. Okay, so see you later then. Okay. Now we have to figure out something new. But we don't do that in this episode. We do that in the next. So take care of you. And I hope I see you in the next episode. Bye bye.